new turn and we have another scholar let's see what where are our schools but that's all the way well I I do need some scholars there so I'm going to send him all the way over there there we go <laughs> he's only 27 years old and he already has a grey beard uh, building constructed in Afghanistan okay that's one of my industrial buildings um anyway some weird things well weird things the Brits have landed in Armenia with a full army and I do not believe I can take them on not such a huge army uh, well I'm going to Wait. No. so that's the bad news the good news is that the Ottomans have spread out and one army has moved here somewhere while the other has moved here somewhere and that's good because then I can take them on with my own army in open field there he is So it's it still might be a tough battle, but um, at least we can challenge them now in open field if they do not retreat to uh, Syria. I am worried though about Ar Armenia I'm gonna send some more troops there from Azerbaijan and well I'm gonna send these guys too but it's quite possible they attack next turn and Armenia might fall um, let's see here I'm gonna repair that and I'm going to but that's a Hindu temple I'm gonna have to break that down since we want to make all uh, our population Muslim um, well I'm I ran out of money so I'll leave the next things for next turn. Okay, so the um, Brits didn't attack me. That's good since I can... Uh, reinforce Armenia. Uh, 
and what I did see was that now also the Maratha Confederacy are aiming for Persia. Well, I want to perhaps I could create one of more immortal unit, but it has 600 upkeep costs, and that's well, that's a lot since the Persian expeditionaries, for example, have 280 um, upkeep costs. But I need some more troops to defend my um, well. I'm gonna just for uh, because they're so awesome. I'm gonna recruit one unit of immortals. Can I recruit any more? I guess not. Well, I guess that would be sufficient for my capital. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, next turn we... <laughs> We'll engage Syria. And well, also the uh, Maratha Confederacy has put up quite a defense at Gujarat. I also want to be prepared for that. But this army has a lot of experience, so I won't doubt they'll do a good job as soon as they're ready. I'm more concerned about this army since it doesn't have that much experience. Um, okay, money's... well, we don't have any money anymore so I end my turn. Okay, next turn, and now I'm afraid the threat is pointed to uh, Mesopotamia, since uh, both the Ottoman armies and the Maratha Confederacy are now marching towards Mesopotamia. Um. Well, I don't want to move my army from Armenia with those Brits there. But I cannot leave Mesopotamia all by itself. So I will have to recruit even more troops. Melee infantry. Line infantry. There we go. That will uh, add some more defenses to Mesopotamia. And wait, let's see if we can do something more in Sint. No, they're almost fully recovered. Well, I'm gonna save some money in case I take Syria, which I hope I will. So to besiege Syria. We seem evenly matched. It's a good thing. Um, and they have a lot of cavalry in a city, so I don't think this battle will be too hard. So let's just fight the battle. Okay, start of the big battle. So this is my well, one of my more advanced armies, since they contain a lot of 
troops that I can only recently recruit. Recruit. Well, these camels are not new. Let's see where am I? And what the hell are they doing? Okay, just fire at their camels. Um, where was I? So here we have my general of the Western Front. My Mamluks. We already saw those guys. And my new immortal cavalry or as they are called Gian Afspar then a lot of muskets we have one unit of these Kizilbashi musketeers and then we have four units of Persian Musketeers and one unit of Immortals Let's do two more units of those Persian Musketeers then we have well, one unit of Pikemen and one unit of my new Swordsmen Elite Dalamites um then we have well two units of cannons and yes three units of Persian musketeers and that's a full stack army and what I don't see what they're doing what they're trying to do Perhaps we sh should take out their howitzers. Well, if they're gonna leave him there, my camels can take him out. Or they aren't gonna leave him there. Let's just walk here. Just send all my cavalry up, except for my general. We'll see what they can do. They only have four units of camels. Oh no, five units of camels. To defend their cannons. Um well, let's just skip ahead a bit. 